familiar with the haiku form? Great. <laughs> <laughs> so this is um, <clears throat> this is actually what I teach is largely Chinese, but I study some of the Japanese traditions too. Uh, one of the traditions that's really a Buddhist tradition, but it's more strongly in Chan Buddhism, a Japanese variant, uh, more a more common variant. Um, is to write a poem at your deathbed. So it's called a death haiku. And of course, it's haiku, it's very much fitting into that form, which is not the Tao Te. But it's a really powerful thing because, you know, at the moment of your death, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be cursing somebody or begging something or, or crying, you know. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be like, <laughs> fetch me my quill and ink. I, <laughs> like, I don't... I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. So generally these stories are about monks, you know, and nuns, these far better people than us, or me anyway. Uh, and the idea is that um, at, on the deathbed, the, at the end of the poem, there's no rewrite, right? There, there's no, let me work on this one for a week and brew my tea. and, and Like, the, you're just sputtering it out, right? Maybe somebody's even taking it down for you. And it's a haiku, so it's, I mean, it's right at the end of your life. It's a little 575 away. Mm. And uh, the beautiful thing about them, I find, is that the, the whole of their insight into what life is, is in the poem. So it's a summary of it all, right? So it's not just this poem. It might seem to be just this poem about that pebble on the floor or something like that, but I mean, it's it's the summation of all of their meditations, all of their poetry, all of their living, all of their heartbreak, all of their, every, every sunrise, you know? And to get that all into this one discreet, fantastically beautiful form is really uh, compelling to me. And some monks would practice writing that all the time. I mean, they just practice. I mean, it'll be a large part of the practice, maybe for many, many decades. And then this is the death. So anyway, I wrote my death haiku. But I'm a Taoist, so you can see how I love the form. So this is called <clears throat> Death Haiku. No more need to rhyme, and anyway, no time, and never enough line. <laughs> it doesn't finish, there's no time. There's no room. There's no room in the form for a Taoist. I didn't hear the last part. You're not supposed to. 